What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to solve linear equations in Python using the NumPy package. Starting off with our import statements, we're going to import from NumPy, import linspace and array. And then from numpy.linearalgebra or linalg, we're going to be importing solve. Here we have a plot that has two lines and you can see their intersection right here in the middle. These equations are plotted using simple lambda functions and in standard form they look like this. It's negative 3x plus y equals 5.43 and 0.51x plus y equals negative 12. To go about solving this, what we have to do is first construct a numpy array similar to matrix form of these linear equations. So let's call the first array A and that's going to be a equals array and everything inside of the array has to be in brackets. The notation can be a little bit confusing here but it's parentheses and then brackets inside the parentheses. We're going to take the contents of the first equation, the x and y values, and say that that matrix is negative 3 and 1 which are simply the coefficients of x and y and the contents of the second matrix are going to be the coefficients of the x and y from the second equation which is 0 0.51 and 1. Let's define another array called B and those values are going to be the constants we have here on the right hand side of the equation. So that's going to be 5.43 and negative 12. Solving the equations is easy. All we have to use is the solve function from numpy.linalg. So let's create a variable called answer equals solve and we're going to input the A and B matrix with A as the first argument and B as the second. If the answer exists, solve will return the X and Y ordered pair that represents the solution to this system of equations. Let's plot the answer with plt.scatter and the X element of the solution is going to be the zeroth index of answer. So that's answer at the zero spot and the y value is answer at the one spot. Let's say that label equals solution and when we plot this we're going to see that the ordered pair of the solution popped up right here in the center. The same steps apply if we have more than two lines in our graph. Here we have another line added in and you can see two more solutions to this system. We have intersects on the orange and green line and another intersection on the blue and green line. So to get these solutions we're going to follow the same steps. Here all three of the equations are listed in their standard form and based on this legend here we see that there are solutions with equations 2 and 3 and then we also see we have solutions for equations 1 and 3. So let's solve equations 2 and 3. The same idea applies, so let's create an a variable. Let's call it a23 because it is the solution to the 2 and 3 equations. It's going to be an array and the first element in the array is going to be the coefficients from the 2 and 3 equations. So the x coefficient is 0.51, the y coefficient is 1, let's add a comma and then add another list of the coefficients from the third equation, so negative 1.43 and 1. The B matrix for 2, 3 is also an array and it's the constant coefficients from equations 2 and 3 which is negative 12 and 1.2. Let's store the answers in a variable called answer 2, 3 equals solve A2, 3 and B2, 3. The same process applies for equations 1 and 3. Our a variable is going to be a13 equals array. It's going to be stealing the coefficients from the first and third equation, so negative 3 and 1, followed by negative 1.43 and 1. The b matrix is going to be an array, and the values are 5.43 and 1.2, which are the constant values in equations 1 and 3. Once again, let's use the solve function to get the answers for the intersect between 1 and 3. So the first argument is a13 and the second argument is b13. To plot these, let's follow the same notation we used in our first plot. That's going to be plt.scatter. 
Our first solution is answer 2, 3 at the zeroth index and answer 2, 3 at the first index. The label is going to be solution 2, 3. And the first solution we did is the intersection between equations 1 and 2, so that's going to be solution 1, 2. The third and final solution to these three equations is plt.scatter. It's going to be the solutions. And I accidentally renamed the variable here, so let's change that to answer 1, 3. And say plt.scatter answer 1, 3 at the zeroth index and answer 1, 3 at the first index. The label is solution 1, 3. If we plot these, let's take a look at what we get. We have the intersections labeled with our dots that we use from the scatter plot. And there we have the answers. Our answers or intersections are plotted in this plot using matplotlib. We got the answers using the solve function from numpy.linalg and we index the x and y values for each solution from our answer variable. I hope this video is helpful to everyone and please feel free to leave any questions or recommendations in the comments below. Thank you all for watching.